Oh, good morning. It's um, Tuesday, 14th of March, 23. And I'm off to take Stan the Scram for his first service. So, um, Reading over to QB Motorcycles in uh, Quaddy Bank, in the heart of the Black Country, um, for its 300 mile service, which will allow me to have an extra 10 miles an hour to play with, so uh, I can barely contain my excitement at the fact. So, um, yeah, so, a bit damp this morning, but. Uh, the forecast is that around about 11 o'clock it's uh, it's clear sunshine so that's one to watch um, yeah and after the first service that should give me which I'm really looking forward to should give me an extra 10 miles per hour to play with now, uh, I'm looking forward to having that at my disposal that extra 10 miles an hour Wonderful. So I'm on, I'm on uh, having a week's leave using the last of this year's leave up. So, uh, doing some bits and pieces around the house. Started a job yesterday, and wish I hadn't. But I'll sort that dripping tap out in the kitchen. Two hours, lots of swearing and a new tap later, the uh, leak was resolved. So, yeah. <laughs> I've told Sam I'm doing nothing else this week. I'm not doing any more DIY. Um, the only thing I will be doing is modifying the number plate light on for Sarah's bike, ready for MOT, so she can hopefully come out and play. So, it's only about 20 minutes uh, ride, I'm trying to remember the way, I keep having these blackouts, you know, in terms of uh, remembering the way to go to get to places, I think it's my age, but uh, hey ho. It is what it is, I suppose. So, um, whilst I'm doing this bit of a uh, semi-commute to the uh, to the dealer, oh, strong smell of the old uh, Jamaican woodbines there. Um, yeah. So, whilst I'm uh, doing this 20 minute ride out to there um, just a few thank yous really uh, thank you first of all to Mr Tame all year motorcyclist for the for the mentions he gives the channel uh, really is appreciated and I, I love his videos I watch them uh, uh, I'm an avid viewer of them now so I, uh, I'm watching the ones on a Wednesday uh, no sorry a Monday and Friday and uh, and his uh, reviews that come out the weekend so if you have not seen his channel he's been a great supporter of this one so uh, please go over and have a look and I'm sure you're going to love what you see um, Grey Wolf um, thank you for your kind words on the videos and words of advice and ideas and suggestions and what a collection of bikes you've got that uh, I'm exceptionally envious of um, you're a very lucky man and uh, it's uh, they're a joy to see. Um, so that's Grey Wolf. Who else have I, uh, do I see a lot of? Um, oh yeah, Ian Hughes. I uh, enjoy watching Ian's um, Ian's videos of him out and about in some of the very very nice places that Ian gets to on uh, on Honor. He's interceptor Honor and uh, um, Clementine. So uh, uh, yeah, another channel I really enjoy watching and I'm, I'm discovering lots of other channels as well. Discovering them all the time. Um, who else have we got? Who else have we got? Peaky Biker, I am going to come out with you. I'm not ignoring you. I am going to come out with you. i just got to get the uh, the stars to align. But uh, yeah, definitely going to come out and have a ride out with you. Um, Solo Moto UK. Derek. Uh, with his new uh, Naughty Boy bike, as Tame calls him. Um, yeah, Derek, it'd be nice to meet up with yourself at some point and uh, have a breakfast or a coffee. 
I'll head over back because I think you're uh, your East Midlands sort of Coventry way, I believe. So that's not not far from me. I'll come over and uh, and have a meet up. Um, Lady J Rider, another channel that I uh, really enjoy watching. There's so many, and uh, it's the different styles and things I like, and the uh, and the um, different sort of subject matter, and uh, find out about what you know people what makes them tick and why they love doing what we do so much. So um, be good to. Uh, to build up this, this, this great, this community that seems to be growing. I think it's always been there. It seems to, this just lately, it seems to have, uh, we found, it seems to become a means of, uh, of uh, a virtual hangout for bikers on YouTube, really. So that's cool. Um, update with us. Uh, you had a wide out with Kev the, uh, the weekend before last down to Diddley Squat Farm. That was nice. Uh, Paul's now got himself uh, a new helmet, little Paul got himself a new helmet and a Cardo, so um, with, with a few of us having Cardo in Pack Talk Edge now, we'd probably be able to have a bit better, of, uh, bit better comms, a bit more reliable comms than we were getting before, and, uh, and we can capture some of our conversations, because uh, with uh, little Paul, it's uh, hilarious to hear uh, what he has to say sometimes, and uh, him and myself are off to Switzerland uh, first week in June to do the Alps. So having our, our, uh, our backdrop of chat, hopefully we'll make it a little bit um, entertaining. Uh, what else is going on? What else is going on? Um, yeah, Bry. We need to get Bry out. He's got a um, he's got a bit of a slight health issue this year he needs to get sorted, I think he's got a hernia that he needs to get sorted so uh, but I think he's keen to come out in the summer but he's not doing any touring this year but we'll get him on a few ride outs uh, the plan is still for Easter on the Bank holiday weekend to be going over to uh, to Wales and putting as many miles on this bike as I possibly can over that four day period um, and setting up a few trips up in uh, in and around Snowdonia and maybe down into uh, into Powys and Mid Wales. Um, I did mention on the uh, one of the previous videos I'm doing looking at doing some sort of genealogy moto vlog. Um, and I've started I've already started to do the research so I'm doing my father's side first of all. Um, so that will hopefully be coming out over the next few weeks. I just need to get to the places that I've found through the research. And uh, some of them I think you're going to really enjoy where they are. Uh, I don't want to give too much away about the video and what the content's likely to be. But uh, my, uh, my dad comes from uh, Mid Wales, from a... a Historically, they were farmers, so I'll sort of leave it at that for now, and then the rest will be revealed as I do the research and then turn it into a video. Um, that's to come a little bit later. Um, what else is going on? I think that's pretty much. Oh, yes, in Scotland, uh, Isle of Sky with Big Paul in uh, July. And I'm really hoping I can get the ducks to line up with uh, with Grey Wolf, and we can have a meet up whilst I'm over in the Isle of Skye. That would be uh, really nice to do. That. So, I was going to get that way, but now I'm going to get this way instead. So um, lots of plans being made. I've got to do the. Uh, got to plan the routes and everything for Switzerland. We use it in base camp for that. So that's to come as well. I tell you what, I barely ever get an evening when I'm not doing something, either editing videos or planning stuff. But uh, I actually love it, to be quite honest. It's a great hobby. It's a great hobby. And then uh, 
what's going on here. Yeah. So. What else is it to tell you? I think that's got you up to speed with everything at the moment. So I'm hoping to be out this weekend coming. Uh, no reason why I shouldn't be, weather permitting. Because uh, I need to, i say once this first service is done on this, uh, on Stan, I need to start eating into those, the rest of those miles I need so I can uh, finish the running process. I mean about 1,200 miles or something like that. So here we are, Cradley Heath Station. towards Quarry Bank now. Hello, oh, saw this again. Oh, it's pretty small plumbing roadworks. And I'm probably going to get it to the dealers. It's virtually bang on 300 miles. Well, there you go. Well, very close to 300 miles. This roadworks, I've never ever known as many roadworks as there seem to be at the moment. Everywhere you go. I'm sure they're just spending the, uh, the 2022-2023 budget. And there we are. Approaching QB up on the right. I should be there just before they open. Ten minutes before they open. Right, how do I sneak through here? That's exactly what we do, we sneak through here and then we'll sneak around there, sneak up on that pavement. Hello mate, you alright? Well, there we have it. Thank you very much, QB Motorcycles, on our right here, on our left here, for excellent customer service and service in the Scram. And now we're, uh, we'll have a, uh, a meander home. So, let's have a look at. Uh, A nice route home. Yeah, on the way in, I was uh, just running through people whose channels I, uh, I enjoy and uh, forgot to mention the Bingley Wheeler. Um, really enjoying uh, Dave's videos. I think that's his name, Dave. Dave's videos of him uh, doing his uh, customising jobs on his interceptor. Uh, recent with the, uh, the brake lever. The, uh, the gear lever and currently uh, he's just done the um, stainless steel mud guards so uh, great little how-to videos for anybody who's looking to how to do the uh, bits and pieces of modifications to their bikes uh, very enjoyable so yeah um, John Paulson I'm just started to get into John's um, videos on his uh, Himalayan. Uh, very interesting to uh, to watch. So I'm enjoying watching them. Who else am I looking at at the moment? Oh, there's so many. Um, the oh, economical rides. Yeah, I've been watching uh, his videos and uh, <laughs> brilliant. Uh, show me your pooch. Um, photographs, so I'm enjoying seeing some of those videos. They're great. It's, I, I like the 
the videos that have got a slight, all the channels where the videos have got a slight um, slant on, a, on them that move a bit away from, I think I might be going into an industrial estate here, go a little bit away from uh, just 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 the bike part of it, which is what we're watching for, but it's, you know, little little added extras, which are really interesting, you know, you discover the, the person behind the uh, the channel and it's nice to do that. I've come up a dead end haven't I? So um, yeah so that's a few of the channels I'm, uh, I'm watching. Um, 150 quid the service, 149.99 for the first service uh, which I assume is pretty much just an old change and a check. Uh, so that's all done and dusted. Um, Yeah, got up this morning. I've been watching the uh, over the last week or so. The, I've been got to about 395 subscribers, and uh, my subscribers can very slowly been creeping up over the last week. About you know one a day or one every couple of days. Uh, and I've got up this morning. Went from 398 to 399 yesterday. Got up this morning. It's still on 399. So. This video is going to be called uh, 399 minus one subscribers and a trip and a ride out for a service. Because uh, I wanted to say, uh, once I got to the 400 and this was an ideal time, I wanted to say to all of you who've subscribed that thank you very much. Thanks a million for for subscribing to the channel. Uh, I can't work out for the life of me what you what you why you why you've shown an interest and subscribe, but I really really do appreciate it. Thank you very very much. It's uh, it's not, it's not about growing a channel to monetize. It's uh, it's always been for personal experiences of the bike, but to have people that are. You know, enjoying the video so much that they've uh, that they actually take the time to subscribe so they can see new videos coming out. It's uh, it's it really does you know encourage me to try and do more videos and make them better and try and make them more entertaining and and all that good stuff. So I, uh, every one of you that's taken the effort to do that, I really really do appreciate it. I can't thank you enough. Uh, and I, I love to read the comments and I love to respond to the comments and uh, enjoy the community that uh, that's growing up around the channel and hopefully when the boys now we're starting to all get kitted out with our comms uh, we'll have a lot more entertaining uh, conversations rather than you just listening to my drowning on boys so it really is a massive thank you for the yeah, 50 miles now yeah, massive thank you to all of you who've uh, have shown an interest in, to, to the degree that you've, you know, you've, uh, you've subscribed. It's, uh, it's a, it's a great feeling to see people enjoying what you're doing and, uh, and wanting to see more of it. It uh, gives you a bit of a uh, dopamine rush. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, talking about brilliant video recording style and all that good stuff. Um, Bandit Man UK, Richard and Carol, uh, again, love their videos. Uh, so many people who've got these brilliant styles, and what you don't want to do is copy them, but you want to sort of, well I do anyway, I don't want to copy them, I don't want to steal what they're doing, but I want to try and, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, take some inspiration from it, and you know, and, and use that to try and develop a style for this channel. And. Uh, I think with this channel as well, this is not about me, this channel, I know most of it is me, um, but it is all about, and that's the name, that's the reason I didn't give it a, a name like my name or anything, I gave it a sort of a, gen a, a not generic, sort of a individualistic channel name, so that we, you know, the, the, the group of us, the channel consists of is, uh, you know, there's my daughter Sarah, there's my mate Kev, and Kev's wife Helen, there's um, there's Brian, my brother-in-law, there's uh, Big Paul, you all know Big Paul, and there's Little Paul, 
uh, and there's Rob. Rob's an occasional tagger along gun. Rob's had a new bike, which I'll, uh, I'm not going to say any more about at this stage because I'm sure we're going to have a ride out with Rob and you can uh, be introduced to Rob's new bike um, when we do that. So uh, yeah, it's, 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 I say, it's not about a, a channel for me, it's a channel for us as a group of friends, but as I saw obviously the administrator, minister, the, the admin, and I do most of the, the, the recording, then I tend to, most, a lot of the content revolves around me and what I'm doing on the bike, so yeah, I want, it, is a, it is a channel for a group of friends. the Hagley Mile, as it's known. Now we're in fifth gear. Pulling nicely. This is a hill we usually fly up. There's a pub we're going to pass on the left in a minute who for any of you uh, Led Zeppelin fans um, Robert Plant has been known to frequent this pub because uh, he doesn't live far away, he lives in Shatterford down near uh, Beaudley uh, this pub years ago when I was a kid was called the Gypsy's Tent uh, and now it's called the Badger's Set. So um, it's on the bed to appear on the left in a second. So um, it has been known for Robert Plant to uh, to pop in there for a pint. This island holds bad memories for me, Kev. Not not the uh, not the usual Kev, but another member of. Uh, a friend of ours who used to come on um, tours and ride outs with us, Kevin. Hello, Kev. Kev Westwood. He came a cropper on that island when we were coming back from the Gospel Pass a few years back. He was on his MT09 SP, and uh, it had been dry and then uh, wet. Uh, wet after a dry spell, the roads must have been greasy as anything. And uh, Kev came a cropper on that island, just bike went from under him. And uh, I think he broke his shoulder, did a bit of damage to his bike, nothing, nothing significant. But it, it, unfortunately, he, uh, he threw in the towel after that, which was a shame, a real shame. So miss having you out and about. I know you watch the videos, Kev. Miss having you out and about with us, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll continue to try to persuade you to come back and join the fray, get another bike. Uh, so, you know, fingers crossed you do that at some point. But yeah, that island, whenever I see it or whenever I pass it now, it's a, it's a bit of a sad memory because it's uh, we lost Kev to to our uh, our hobby because of it. So this road around the back of sort of Clent Hills now. That was a little bit of uh, useless information. When we had houses at school, I don't know any of you had houses at school. The houses at my school were named after the the hills that had sort of been the, around the area. Uh, so there were four houses. There was Licky, Malvern, Wenlock and Clent. I was in Licky, uh, and as I recall, because you had badge, I think you had, there was a badge for each of the uh, colours, a coloured badge for each of the houses. There was red, yellow, green, and blue. And I'm, I know that Clint was, no, sorry, I know that Licky was red because I was in Licky and I had a red badge. And I'm almost certain that when Lock was yellow. Uh, Malvern was green, I think Clint was blue. Could be wrong, but I'm certain that uh, Licky was red. This pub here, the Swallow's Nest, 
I believe it was last year Barry Manilow was playing in uh, in Birmingham I think and uh, he'd uh, he decided he wanted fish and chips after a show or before a show or something like that um, so he's, they piled into his tour bus and they came down to that pub we just passed up there, the Swallow's Nest because I think they do a nice fish and chips and uh, him and his entourage had, uh, had fish and chips in there um, and he was chatting up all accounts, he was uh, very friendly chatting with the uh, with the customers in the pub a very approachable and uh, well, a very nice man by all accounts so there you go so we've had Robert Plant down the road at Badger's Set uh, and we've had um, Barry Manila in the Swallow's Nest yeah Barry Manila's music not my cup of tea to be honest <laughs> but uh, I'm sure the ladies liked it if your name was Mandy. I'm going to uh, wrap the video up for today. I hope you enjoyed that little ride out for servicing an update for Stan the Scram. Uh, thanks again for watching, for liking, subscribing really appreciate it uh, and hopefully I'll be out again soon to make some more videos what's it like overtaking let's have a look that's all right comfortably overtook there then yeah so sorry couldn't resist had to try it slow speed overtake yeah. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video, um, and hopefully I'll be back very soon with some of the gang doing uh, some ride out. The weekend is looking very positive on that front. Uh, fingers crossed. Take care. See you soon.